The BCN3D Epsilon, W27, and W50 are two 3D printers that formed out of a growing desire to have enclosed gigantic 3D printers. Each of these are made using industry-leading components from the hot end to the extruder and built upon the IDEX framework fine-tuned since the original release of the BCN3D Sigma back in 2016. With the latest add-on, the Smart Cabinet, the Epsilon series of BCN3D printers are more capable and well-rounded machines for any industrial application. Let's break it down. Both the Epsilon W27 and W50 are big build volume 3D printers. The W27 has a 27 liter build volume and the W50 has a 50 liter build volume. As part of the workbench line of BCN 3D printers, these two machines have been designed around bringing industrial power and exceptional 3D printing performance to the workbench or factory floor. Two dual drive Bontic extruders feed the print heads with a consistent supply of 2.85 millimeter filament. Each of the two hot ends in this IDEX dual print head system swaps out easily if you want to try a larger nozzle size, like a 0.8 millimeter nozzle or hot end X for abrasive resistant 3D printing capabilities. The W27 and the W50 have a 420 millimeter by 300 millimeter sturdy aluminum build platform paired with a silicone thermal pad to reach temperatures as high as 120 degrees Celsius. The Epsilon 3D printers are equally capable for use in an industrial or workshop setting with only one key difference, a build height of 220mm for the W27 and a build height of 400mm for the W50. For years, BCN 3D has been known for their unique dual extrusion design, using two independent print heads to prevent oozing and smearing as the print job leaves one nozzle idle as it prints out parts. Independent dual extrusion, or IDEX as it's been dubbed, allows for clean, multi-material and dual color 3D prints and as an added benefit, you are able to use both hot ends at the same time for what is called duplication mode. Because both hot ends ride on the same x-axis rail instead of their own, they can mimic each other's movements exactly, effectively putting a second 3D printer into the same footprint. If you're trying to 3D print huge batches of parts, it's as simple as selecting the duplication mode in the slicer and getting the print started to unlock the full potential of IDEX 3D printing. Each hot end carriage has its own x-axis motor, which not only allows for duplicating your 3D prints, it allows them to be printed in mirror. Just as before, selecting mirror mode in the slicer will enable you to 3D print a perfectly symmetrical copy of your 3D model side by side with your original. Once again, IDEX is part of what makes BCN 3D printers a level above the rest, increasing productivity like no other. The Workbench series of BCN 3D printers are fully enclosed, and when you consider the size of the build plate, the Epsilon 3D printers have enough power to heat up the entire build chamber. Rather than actively using a separate heat source, the heated bed will passively heat the chamber to give your thermally sensitive materials a fighting chance at adhering to the bed without warping and splitting. Epsilon Series 3D printers even clean the air within the chamber of any potentially harmful particles using a powerful fan to pull air through a carbon filter behind a HEPA filter. The Smart Cabinet is an all-inclusive unit that is perfectly sized to fit your Epsilon, has wheels for easy relocation, a pull-out drawer for tools that doubles as a laptop stand, and a humidity control drawer big enough for 8 standard spools or 4 large spools. The Epsilon W27 and W50 are two fantastic large-scale 3D printers that would fit right in on any factory floor. To learn more and to order yours today, go to matterhackers.com. Hey there, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that tech breakdown on the Epsilon W27 and the W50. I really enjoy using these two machines to print out huge arrays of parts instead of having to print them out one at a time. If you want to read some in-depth articles, you can go to matterhackers.com or to stay up to date with all of our digital manufacturing content, be sure to click subscribe. See you in the next one.